So this is the drywall patch that I'm going to be repairing and blending in this knockdown texture. So really any type of sponge will work for this. Ideally a softer sponge like this one. And you can use these needle nose pliers to just yank little chunks out. But I actually just prefer to use my fingers like that. It all depends on the type of sponge that you're using. If it's a harder sponge, you might need pliers, but that worked for me. So that's what it should look like when you're done. You're also going to need a sanding block or a sanding sponge, depending on what you call it. Ideally, a soft grit. Having a water spray bottle will help a lot, but it's not completely necessary. So the first thing that I want to do is sand around the patch to bevel it or to make a sloped surface leading into the patched area. So I, I'm just gonna wanna remove that sharp edge and I'm going to explain why in just a second here. You'll have to forgive my drawing skills, they're not so great, but I'm gonna draw kind of what I mean by sanding it down. So here's kind of a cross section of what it looks like right now. And if I were to fill that in with patching material, you're gonna see a, like a sharp transition line, like right there, um, it's not gonna be blended. Now I'm just gonna draw another example here that if we were to cover the whole area like this to overlap completely, it's gonna be a bumped surface. And you're gonna see that depending on the lighting of the room or whatever. So I don't really want that either. I want it to be flat. So the reason that I'm gonna sand the edges like this, this is the cross section if you kind of bevel it down like a bowl. And that lets us kind of make a smoother transition when we fill it in because it kind of goes from shallow to deep at a very, um, not so suddenly is the word I'm, I'm looking for. So it's kind of a gentle transition. Okay, so now that I've explained what I'm going to be doing, I'll get started now. So this is kind of what you're looking to achieve. You're trying to bevel it in like this or make it look like a bowl. And this is gonna really help to blend in this patch. But first, just remove the dust. You can do that just by hitting it with a rag like that. Okay, so here is where the spray bottle comes into play. The reason that you want the spray bottle is you want to dampen the surface because the dry mud of the texture absorbs moisture really fast. So when you put your, your patching mud over top, it'll suck the moisture right out of your patching mud and it'll make it really difficult to work with. So when you moisten it, it greatly increases the amount of time that you can work with it and get it right. So now you wanna fill in that little bowl area that you made with the mud that you're using. Just an all-purpose drywall mud will work fine for this. So you wanna kinda of get it in there like that. And once it's in place, then you can remove a little bit just to get it level with the rest of the texture. So I'm just putting it on right now. And in a moment, I'm going to then level it out so just use a knife um, that's about the size of the patch that you're doing. So this is a small patch, so I'm using a small knife, but if I was doing a larger drywall patch, I'd be using a, a bigger knife. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just leveling it with the rest of the texture. So I think that should be about right there. Then just take your sponge and load it with some mud and just push it into all the little holes. 
and the holes both help with replicating the texture and they also work as kind of like a little reservoir to hold the mud in place. Okay, so here is the fun part. Just dab the sponge onto the mud and make these little bumps and just go over and over it until it's even. And you can also kind of overlap onto the older drywall texture just a little bit, just to kind of give it a little bit of blending. But the main, the main bumps, you want to keep them where over top of the patched area. So now I'm just doing the final refinements and then I'm going to let this set up for a while, about 10 or 15 minutes, but it all depends on the temperature of your room or the humidity, but don't let it dry up, just let it firm up a little bit and that's, that's what you need. But don't try knocking it down when it's wet or it'll just look really, really bad. Okay, so what I'm doing next is I just spray my knife with a little bit of water and then I wipe it off and that helps the knife glide smoothly over the mud. So now just have a look at your knife and find the convex side of the knife. And that's a side that's going to go onto the wall. And also have the knife parallel to the wall, not like that, parallel like this. And that's how you want to knock it down. So. Um, kind of just go across it and then kind of you then you want to work outwards so I'm going across and then now I'm gonna start going outwards away from the patch into the wall and this just helps uh, blend it a little better so it's very delicate movements don't press too hard just uh, especially for this type of blending, you want to do it very carefully. It's kind of like an art. And don't worry too much if you don't get it right on the first time because you can wait till it dries and then you can do uh, some final refinements again over top after it dries. And I'm gonna show you what I mean about that in this video. So it's been a few hours now and it's completely dry, but I can kind of still see where the patch was. Like I said, you can't always get it perfect for SCO. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of further refining over top just by dabbing some little bits of mud here and there and just try to you know blend it a little bit further. And this will make a big difference. You'll see that, you'll see that in a bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna just give this a little knockdown again. All right, so that is all patched up now. I'm satisfied with it. Now, I'm sure that if I, you know, were to show somebody and say, hey, look right there, I patched that and they put the nose to the wall, maybe they could see it. Maybe they could see where I patched, but I think for all practical purposes, I'm satisfied. No one's gonna see that there was a patch there when they walk by. So that's a done deal. Okay, thanks for watching.